patchy, freezing fog early, otherwise sunshiny skies and milder on Wednesday. Good Tuesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, it seems quiet across Tennessee tonight. We have some concerns down the south. They've got frozen orange juice weather. Freeze warnings from Marion County, Florida, just to name a few. They've got frost advisories, too, in light blue. But here we have some concerns for freezing fog because it'll be so cold in the mid-20s in the morning that could slow you down. You may have to apply some of that windshield wiper fluid. That usually helps in most situations, but we'll be watching that closely tomorrow. Meanwhile, we also have black ice, some ice these are roads, some side roads that weren't treated, so be careful there too. Back to the west, we got some wind advisories, parts of Arkansas, Missouri, and Oklahoma. They got rain and snow across the Rockies. Uh, that's certainly active there. And there's some snow across the Great Lakes. But thankfully, it has slowed down, or so it would appear, around Buffalo, New York, where they've had some epic snows, about the biggest snows in about four decades. Virtual fireplace for you tonight. Maybe you can warm up by your computer screen. Just, ah, uh, oh, yes, I like to warm up. That's nice. That's a nice little, that's a nice, that's a nice little gimmick there, Aldrich. A way to keep it flowing. Okay, well, we did pick up 1.6 inches of snow officially at McGee Tyson Airport. That's not my number. I had expected zero to an inch plus. Someone said, well, an inch plus, that gives you a lot of latitude. It could be 1.1 or 1.6. Okay, all right. I know there was some two inches in Maryville. I know there was 0.2 in Andersonville. And I know up toward La Follette, maybe Jellico, not much to talk about at all. So some of you had zero. Some of you had an inch plus. Some of you may have had two. But you still knew it was coming if you watched me and even if you were on the premium side. But Knoxville McGee Tyson, we've now added 1.6 to the total of this early season, which winter technically didn't start to the winter solstice just a few days ago. 42 was our high temperature. I was expecting 45. But with all that snow underfoot, it would be probably hard to get to 45 today, but I do think we'll hit 53 tomorrow as we started today at 25 degrees. Our high was 42 in Oak Ridge. They did hit 46, uh, if you want to be technical, in Athens, Teleco Plains, but only 39 in Morristown, 41 Newport. Back to the south and west we go. Chattanooga hit 50, Huntsville 50, 44 today in Memphis. Not a whole lot of clouds to see here. Well, they suggest there are a few trying to move on out, but we will see some stars tonight and future visibility. Watch this. You ready for this? If we get some fog and it's in the 20s, maybe we start seeing this as early as 11 o'clock tonight. There could be where we had snow. We could see some of this fog develop because that moisture that's on the ground has to go somewhere. It may condense right over your backyard or over your driveway. So please be extra careful. Again, fog droplets or mist can develop and you might have to use your wipers maybe in excess with the windshield wiper fluid, but that takes you through 7.30 tomorrow, which is why I'm articulating patches of freezing fog, maybe dense, Certainly possible, but we'll be watching this tomorrow morning with temperatures starting off in the lower to mid-20s. Tracking the radar, nothing to see here tonight, but we know we had an active night uh, last night. Future cast, this is great news if you're on Team Spring. Warmer more warmer air, oh yeah, warmer air. I love to see warmer air. Yeah, just in time for the new year. There's midnight, the 1st of January. Happy 2023. Temperatures will be near 50 degrees. Come on, no way. At the stroke of midnight, yeah, I think it could be. And it should be near 50 degrees at midnight with winds about 3 to 8 miles per hour. But you'll note my footnote there. What's that say? It says most, most, he says, most of Saturday's rains are during the day. So if you've got most of the rain falling during the day, 2023 rings in, you might say, well, I'm going to be in the Smokies. Okay, well, let's see what that looks like. Maybe a little fog. Oh, I like that. That's a nice touch, Aldridge. Keep it going. 2023, happy new year. It's going to be a new year, so you might as well have a happy one. And certainly we've got maybe a little bit of fog. A little bit of fog, but temperatures near 50. Uh, in Knoxville, maybe a little bit cooler, upper 40s, back toward the Smokies. Tennessee and Clemson, Orange Bowl this uh, Friday night, December 30th. We've been waiting a long time for that Hard Rock Stadium matchup, 10 and 2 Vols. 11-2 Clemson Tigers. Go Big Orange has a whole new meaning. Oh, wait, when we say Go Big Orange, we mean vault. I know, I know, I know we do. Go Big Orange. It is going to be a warm game. They'll be in the mid-70s to start, mid-70s to finish. Winds 5-10 to 10 out of the east-southeast. And guess what? It's humid. If you're wearing those pads and the dew point's around 70+, plus, it's, I mean, after all, it's Miami. It's tropical, right? Uh, humid. Yeah, it's going to be humid. So uh, I leave a 10% chance of rain. Most of that may occur long before this game gets underway. Headlines. Plenty of stars tonight. Black ice. Patches of freezing fog may develop in the morning where you live. Sunshiny skies on Wednesday. Maybe you give yourself some extra time. 
maybe a set a few uh, that alarm clock a few minutes extra early if you live in a frog a frog a fog prone area yeah i'm thinking frog uh look at that we've got all these snow reports in the knoxville area isn't that pretty isn't it nice that we got all the we ourselves got the snow reports team snow's loving this 1.3 in bearden oh we got a new report over here 1.1 in uh kimberlin heights knox county oh we got another one report over here one and a half in uh knox county love it let's go to the north maybe get one up here up here, I got one uh, 0.5 in Maynardville. So we had less amounts in Union County. But we did get two inches reported around Maryville. I did see that. Half inch fell around uh, Rome County in the uh, Kingston area. And what else we have? Uh, Petros. We had a half inch. Oh, only half inch. Some of have had more, but some may have had less. Crossville, let's go back there. How much did Crossville get out of this? Did they get something sizable? Half inch. Okay. So if you said zero to an inch plus, and most people got that range, but for the few exceptions, I'd say okay. If I had said trace to two, all those who didn't get trace would have said, oh, I got zero. And all those who said I didn't get two inches, you'd say I'm swinging for the fences, right? That's what you think. But I did a zero to inch plus. There you have it. There you have it. Not everybody thought, and they said, oh, it's a surprise snow. Not to Captain Accurate fans, it wasn't. It was not a surprise whatsoever. Future cast shows we've got all this high pressure dome on the East Coast. We're going to stay nice and sunny tomorrow. High temperatures Wednesday should reach 53, but we are are going to set up the stage for the rain on Thursday to the west. So if you're traveling for this holiday weekend toward Memphis, toward Little Rock, you're going to see all this rain. That's Friday morning. So it'll be coming in late here. Watch as it slides into Nashville, slides into Huntsville, slides into Birmingham, and then it gets soggy. Oh, there's Friday. That's Friday evening. And that's when we'll find more rain moving across the area. So for tonight, 24 degrees, plenty of stars. It's cold. Be aware and be mindful of the black ice underfoot. The freezing fog, the bridges, overpasses, and those untreated side streets. I don't know, some of it melted today, uh, but not every area in the shade got the same love from the sunshine today. 24 for low in Oak Ridge, 22 for Middlesboro, Bell County, 23 Morristown, 25 for Sevierville. That's my expectation when it comes tomorrow morning, which is why we're talking about freezing fog. Those little misty droplets could easily freeze on contact. Wednesday, 53. Some fog in the morning that's freezing, sunshiny skies, and once that fog lifts, it's going to be a glorious day. Winds 3 to 8 miles per hour. Not everybody gets to 53. Maybe if you're Maryville or Teleco Plains, you're closer to 54 or 55, but only the upper 40s for you in places like Wartburg, Jamestown, and Crossville in Oneida, about 47 in Scott County there, 49 in Middlesbrough for Wednesday. Here's your Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville, East Tennessee. 57 on Thursday. It's time for Team Spring to rule the roost because Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're going to have a warming trend. We'll be in the mid-60s to start the new year. You'll say, whoa, that's fantastic. That means winter's done. Not by a long stretch. Not by a long stretch, he says. That's pretty bold. Yeah, winter's going to come back. And I don't want to break, break anything uh, too disturbing, but it will come back. Uh, and we are talking about laying down the groundwork on that on the premium side. They have a good idea of what I'm thinking so far. And if you want to join the premium side, you can get on uh, the inside scoop. But again, it's something extra. Not everybody wants it, but it's there if you want it. 67 Monday, 67 on Tuesday. A lot of folks who like spring maybe need a little bit of warm up. There it is on your screen. Could pick up about an inch of rain potentially as we head into uh, the upcoming holiday weekend. By the way, the Captain Accurate Weather app. Now with Pete Michaels traffic. It's free. If you go to the App Store, Google Play, you can search two words, Captain Accurate. It'll appear at the App Store and Google Play. Well, my name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.